Out to a class ring that traveled more than 3,000 miles. This downriver man lost his University of Michigan ring on vacation. It fell into the Gulf of Mexico during a trip to Playa del Carmen. Uh, he was sure it was gone for good. Wouldn't we all think so? Mara McDonald live in Southgate with a story of luck and the kindness of strangers. Mara? Hi, Devin. It's one of those stories where the odds against ever finding this ring are astronomical. And yet, we have a happy ending. I see a lot of hard work. When Gary Franklin looks at his University of Michigan class ring, he sees the struggle and success of a man working full time, going to school part time while raising his family. It just reminds me of the work that I put in trying to make all that happen. Graduating with his degree in finance was a full circle moment. He ordered a University of Michigan class ring as a present to himself. I said, well, this is what I want to get myself so I can look down and always have a reminder of of the accomplishment. That ring is always on his right hand. So when the family took a trip to Playa del Carmen last month, they were on a boat in the Gulf doing some snorkeling. All of a sudden, I, I could feel the ring just sliding off my finger. And it was, you know, I wasn't expecting it, of course. But by the time I started to clench my hand to make a fist to stop it, it was like right off the tip. He just accepted it was gone. A few days later, a man from Arizona was snorkeling in the same spot, found the ring, saw it was engraved, and put up a post on Facebook. All of a sudden, Gary started getting texts with people wondering if it was his. <gasps> My heart just dropped. And then I'm, I'm looking at it a little closer, I'm like, what? And I handed the phone to the kid, I said, somebody found my ring. Gary's not on Facebook, but his wife Nakia is, and they reached out to the man who took the time to reunite the ring with its rightful owner. Next thing Gary knows, an envelope arrives. I didn't get think I'd closer. ever get this back. Wow. That's the coolest thing ever. Back here alive, Gary says normally that ring fits really snugly on his hand, but he wanted to get in really good shape to go to Mexico, so he went on this big diet and fitness regime and lost 15 pounds. I told him I think it's a sign from above that maybe he needs a couple more carbs if he's going to keep that ring on the finger. We're live in Southgate tonight. I'm Mara McDonald. <laughs> what a story. Also, a good thing it wasn't a Buckeye who found it. Otherwise, it would still be lost <laughs> yeah, at sea. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Mara. Really great, great story. All right.